Wow! What a mess! <laughs> My gosh! You think somebody would clean this up? I mean, you know, here's my tools. I mean, I have them. There's my garden stuff, you know. Matter of fact, there's my watering pot. Here's the doors, you know. Hmm. Here's the Word of God, and here's a devotional. You think maybe I had to kind of put them to good use or something, you know, and do something with them. <laughs> Funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. I got left behind. No, really. I mean, I had my water pot. I had my Bibles. I had my devotional. I even had a big stick. But I got left behind. You see, I didn't use what I was given. I didn't take care of what I had. As a matter of fact, I didn't even bother cleaning up my life because I figured, hey, I'm saved by grace. Who needs to get ready? Who needs to clean up their act? Who needs really to be prepared? After all, that's for Boy Scouts, isn't it? Now, but I'm a, I don't know about you, but for me, winter's coming. Fall is here. I saw it. I looked outside and I said, Whoa, check it out. The leaves are changing. Oh my gosh. If the leaves are changing, that means I better get ready because guess what? When the leaves change color, that means that fall is coming. And when fall gets here, that means it gets colder at night and then eventually it gets colder in the day. And sooner or later, it's time for winter. And then it's raining. You know, I'd look pretty stupid if I was standing out there in my shorts in the rain. Matter of fact, I think it'd look really dumb if I was wearing, you know, like summer weather with, you know, thongs and, you know, kind of like a beach hat. You know, and Bermuda shorts, you know, in a snowbank? I don't think so. But you see, that means that I need to get ready. That means I need to prepare. That means I need to take the time to recognize the signs of the times that I'm living in. That means that I need to pay attention to what's going on in the world. You know, kind of like, gee, I guess since it got colder, I better put on a coat. Since it's, you know, getting to be winter, I guess I don't need planters. Huh. Maybe I need to prepare myself for the times that I'm living in today. I don't know where you are. But if you're like me, and winter's coming, I'm ready for football season. You know, kind of kick back and watch television. You know, kind of just chilling. Not killing, just chilling. You know, dig out the old, you know, like thumbing, you know, and thumbing through life, you know, kind of like, you know, just taking it easy. You know, hitching a ride, because I got my little Game Boys, you know, and I got my little Ataris, and I got my Xbox. As a matter of fact, I got all these things I can do that I don't need to worry about what's going on with you. I can pay attention to what I'm doing, because after all, I'm just playing with my gaming, you know. And that's kind of where I want to be, you know. I don't want to be cleaning. I don't want to put away my idols. I don't want to use my word of God. I don't want to pay attention to my devotionals. Matter of fact, I want to watch football. I got my stats down. I know my dream team. You know, I'm sure American Idol is coming back on, so I need to pay attention to that on television. Because, after all, who cares about what's going on in the world? But you know, funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. I got left behind. <gasps> How did that happen? I haven't a clue. Do you? Huh. Really? You're kidding. Well, I thought everybody went in a rapture. You know, I, I didn't think I had to do anything. After all, that's a works trip. If I have to do something, that means it's works, and I don't believe in that. Of course... 
I am all alone now. I'm really not too happy about that either. Well, you know, there's still some other people around. I mean, after all, they must have blown it too, huh? So maybe it's not so bad being left behind, you know. Of course, the sky's turning dark. The sun's not shining. I don't feel so good inside anymore. You know, it don't look so good, does it? Funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. Man, maybe I had a see what the Bible says. Oh, this isn't even a Bible. Huh. Now, where did I put my Bible? Man. I know it's around here somewhere, because I know I've gone to church a few times. Well, anyways, we'll just put that aside for now. Maybe I ought to read a devotion, see what it has to say. Hmm. Not good news. It's not talking about money. It's not prosperity. Matter of fact, it's not politics. Who cares? I don't want that. I think, you know, yeah, some people disappear. Some people are gone. You know, I guess that rapture happened. But, you know, I just want to, I just want to kick back. You know, I want to kick it easy. I want to check out the game. Pardon me, but my team's on. I got something else better to do. You think maybe we could do this into the world a little later? You know, kind of like maybe some other time? Maybe after the Super Bowl. You know, maybe after the Olympics. Maybe after, you know, the elections. Maybe after, maybe when I'm ready, we'll have the end of the world. Maybe, oh, well, yeah. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. I wasn't ready. Matter of fact, when I look at this table, I think it's kind of obvious that I'm not ready. When I look at people in my life, no offense to you, but you don't look so ready either. As a matter of fact, you look pretty messed up. You know, getting out there into politics, getting out there into religion, getting out there, you know, and fighting all these battles. And I don't know. I thought maybe Jesus would have been talking about looking for him and talking about Jesus rather than talking about Republicans and Democrats. Freedom of religion and freedom of rights and, you know, abortion rights and marriage rights and, you know, rights, 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 it stunk in the first place, so it still stinks. They keep arguing about it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You know, I've been around for about 30 years. I've seen it before, and I'm sure to see it again. Seems like they're always fighting about it. Matter of fact, I want to take my stick to them. Oh, wait a minute. They'll beat their swords from the plowshares. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to be fighting these battles. Maybe I should be winning them by letting God take care of them. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. It looks like I got left behind. And you know what? I think I know why. Maybe I should. Clean up my act. After all, there seems to be a lot of junk in my trunk, a lot of stuff in my life, a lot of things that, you know, maybe I could be out playing and enjoying this life, or I could be seeking first the kingdom of God, you know, and cleaning up my act, taking care of my business, taking care of who I am, you know, kind of like that old, uh, what they call that? What was it that Jesus said, you know, kind of, kind of like, you know, taking up a cross, you know, following him. Yeah, you know, oh, 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 you mean like taking up a cross so that I would die on it. 
taking up a cross so that I couldn't get away anymore. Taking up a cross and doing what God told me to do. Oh, I don't like that kind of cross. Matter of fact, <sighs> throws out my sacroiliac. Of course, that's a little lower. <laughs> but throws out my joints, you know. I get out of joint, out of kilter when someone starts telling me what to do. I mean, after all, they got their own act to clean up, don't they? I mean, what are they doing bothering telling me about what I should be doing? You know, I, after all, I got my own tools to work with, you know. I got my, my little, what is this? It's been a long time since I used it. Oh, dustpan, that's right. Dustpan, let's see, I kind of scoop up, no? Oh, I brush up. Oh, okay, so I got to push up, you know, I got to do something with it, you know, and kind of like apply it. You know, and clean up my act. Kind of funny, but you know, I still don't feel like doing it. But I guess since it really hasn't quite happened yet, and that I do want to be ready, and I do want to, you know, kind of like exit stage right. Oh, right. Okay. Or on your right. Oh, okay. Well, I don't even know which way's right, do I? Since I do want to get out of here, and I don't want to go to hell, and I really don't want to deal with, you know, all that Antichrist stuff, you know. <laughs> I guess maybe, maybe there's more to this rapture than meets the eye. Maybe there's more to life than sucking my thumb. Maybe there's more than football, baseball, track. Olympics, politics, religion. I think it's more to this Christianity than, than I realized. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the rapture. I found out I had to deal with Jesus. Ooh. Personally. Ooh. Individually. Ooh. You know, like inside me. Ah! Ick! That means he's possessing me. Ooh! So, I gotta, pardon me, clean up my act, because I think Jesus is coming over and he's got something to say to me. Maybe he's got something to tell you, too.